This is Welsh ASMR AT 2 Hey, how you doing? So in today's ASMR football or ASMR soccer, depending on where you are, video, uh, we're going to be looking at the football kits in the World Cup in Qatar uh, and having a little chat about which are our favourites. And I'd like you to put your top three in the box below. Um, I will get back to doing results videos very soon, but I'm away on holiday at the moment, and so I've done this in advance of this weekend. So, apparently, the top three of everyone who views this site um, is Japan first, Mexico away second, and Ecuador away in third. So let's see whether we agree with them or not. Okay, first up, world champions Argentina. The home kit is pretty classic, to be honest. It's, um, I've always enjoyed it. It's really nice, particularly with a black trim. The away kit, though, for me is nicer because it's got the dark um, and then the light sort of patches and the ripple pattern down the bottom. So I really like that. Goalkeeper kits are fine. Okay, Australia. I like their home kit simply because it's not just a plain yellow. It's got lots of um, patterns going through it. The away kit is really smart as well, isn't it? That, um, what do you want to call that? Is that like a, a green type of colour? My blues and greens get mixed up, so excuse me. Um, around the neck area, that's really nice. I really like the away kit, actually. It's really tidy. And forgive me, but I really like the sort of violet goalkeeper kit as well. Um, I, I'm quite a fan of that. Um, on to Belgium. So, I really like the sleeves of their home kit. Um, it's really, really nice. It looks like flames, doesn't it? And the away kit's really tidy as well, actually. It's got the wipe of the really nice trims on the um, shirt sleeves. And the different mix of colours. I think it's really very nice. Okay. Brazil. So, again, as ever, there's not much you can do to the home kit. It's iconic. It's classic. So just leave it alone. The away kit, though. It's got the lovely, like, um, is it like a leopard pattern in blue and green on the, on the arms uh, going up to the shoulder. That's a really, really nice kit. I think people have tried to play safe so far with the home kits, but then being more expressive and um, uh, like artistic on the away kit. So yeah, the away kits I'm preferring so far, all the way through. Okay, so we'll carry on, but I'm going to give you my top three at the end of the video. And I'm going to tell you which ones I didn't like as well. Okay, so Cameroon home... I don't like the away kit that much, actually. See, the away kit's got the sort of the same design as the home kit, but it just works better on the home kit because of the green with the white. I don't know, it looks like they're wearing a gilet or something. <laughs> actually, the third kit is really nice, but it does look like it should be for Morocco rather than Cameroon. And both... The goalkeeper kits are lovely, actually. Really nice. Okay, Canada. I'm not a massive fan of the dark red for the main part of the shirt, and then a lighter red um, on the sleeves. I, it didn't, doesn't look that nice. However, the simplicity of the white away shirt is gorgeous. The way it's just got the tick for Nike and then the Canada badge and just everything else is white. To be honest, I think that's really nice. In fact, I think it's it's a straight out shoot shoot up between that and the third kit, which is just that plain black for like really nice kits, just nothing they haven't tried too hard. It's just a really nice colour combination. Yeah, that's quite cool. So um, Costa Rica's is, it, 
is fine. Um, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I can't describe to you why, although it's simple, Canada's is simple and I just praised it. Why aren't I doing the same with Costa Rica? Hmm. It's in keeping with the um, colours on the flag as well. It's got the white trim, red base, and then blue trims on the arms. So it's the same colour as the flag. Yeah, but for some reason it's not doing it for me. It's alright though, it's nice. But yeah, it's nothing special. Okay, Croatia. Croatia have always got really nice kits, haven't they? That combination of the Czech, the, the red and white Czech is really lovely. I'm not a huge fan of the fact that it's broken up like this. Um, for the home kit. The away kit, however, works a lot better. I think maybe they should have tried something similar with the home kit. The away kit sort of fades into the darker colour. That really good, really does it for me, so that's nice. The away kit looks like it got printed incorrectly and they missed half them out. Um, I can see they were trying to do something different, but I, it just looks like it was an accident. Is that actually the Danish top? No, it can't be. It's just basically red. There's nothing to it. The special kit is lovely because it's a sort of, it looks like a classic kit. But if that's the actual home and away kit, they are terrible. <laughs> are they, I'm trying to see if they've got like, I think they've got some sort of really subtle hidden parts to it, but I don't know, it looks like it's in, inside out, doesn't it? It's weird, I gotta click on it. I know it's gonna send the... Yeah, I do not like that. Why didn't they put the badge in white or something? And the kit... Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Sorry. Danish kits are usually really nice, like this one. It's gorgeous, that's really nice. Why on earth did they do that? It just looks like, it's like, looks like a top you buy from like in our five pound store okay anyway the um i like the special kit for the goalkeeper though it's nice okay so ecuador um i really like it's just the yellow is so bold and it's got the trim down the side i really really like that the away kit so that was in the top three um I don't agree. I think it's nice. I think it's really cool. I do like it when they do like a subtle design in the background of something so they've got the dark and the light. But yeah, I'm not like convinced it's absolutely stunning. Oh, actually. Take it back. That is gorgeous. I already know the Mexico away kit is going to be in my top three, so I kind of want to choose ones that are not in that top three that I said at the beginning, but that is a contender, isn't it? That is so cool. Okay. Okay, England. Um, I don't like the red away kit. I do, however, love the gradient between dark blue to light blue to white on the shoulder of the home kit for England. It's nice. It's The away kit is actually the sort of classic one that they haven't touched. That's the same as the 1990 World Cup kit away. I'm trying to think. Well, they've always had red as their away kit. But um, yeah, the, the home kit is actually quite nice. Says a Welshman. <laughs> Okay, so France's home kit is pretty simple, and it's 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 quite nice. It's very smart, isn't it? It's a really I like navy as a um it it always looks really really smart. But their away kit is really nice. Again, going for that theme of subtle things in the background rather than something bold in the foreground. I think that is in my top five. It's really nice. Um, sort of extra kudos for the lilac home um, goalkeeper kit. Okay, Germany. Mm, I don't like their home kit. 
it. The hole is trapped in the middle. I don't know why I don't like it, but I just don't. They're awake, it. It's all right, isn't it? I, I can't put my finger on what's wrong. No, it's got everything I usually say I like. Maybe it's just the type of red. Maybe it should be a different shade of red. It looks very much like the Bayern Munich kits, actually. It reminds me a lot of them. Um, and I do like the um, the goalkeeper's home kit. That's nice, the blue. Okay, next up, Ghana. Okay, so their home kit is really nice. It's got the white with the black star from their flag in the middle. Really cool trims of the Ghanaian flag. Do I love or absolutely hate this kit? Let me think. I think I hate it. But also, I'm kind of intrigued by how different it is. Does no one have put a box on on the front of their kit? Probably, because it looks terrible. But just for being different, I like it. Hmm. Maybe I don't hate it. Maybe I love it. Oh, I can't decide. I wouldn't be so daring to put it in my top five. But it's, it's got something. It's got an X factor. I didn't think maybe it didn't work. But yeah, like 9 out of 10 for trying. Hmm. The home kit for the goalkeeper is really nice as well. Okay, um, I like the shoulders of the Iranian kit. Uh, the rest is just is fine. Um, uh, exactly the same for the away kit. It's nicer, actually, in red. I think it works even nicer in red. I quite like that. Okay, so we're into what everyone con considers to be the best. Japan home. I can see why it's snazzy. It's smart. It's really cool. Um, yeah. It is absolutely gorgeous, but I think it's mm, top five, not top three. I think it's like maybe fourth, just above France's away kit. That special home kit is disgusting. <laughs> that is absolutely awful. Pink and green. Whose idea was that? Salmon pink. Oh my god. Get out of my sight. The Japan away kit is really nice as well, isn't it? It looks like um, you should be wearing 3D glasses because it's got the blue and red. Okay, lovely Mexico. So the home kit is pretty snazzy, to be honest, and they, my favourite kit of all time is the Mexican home kit from 1998, the World Cup in 98. Um, however, that away kit is a thing of beauty. I want one. If you like me, you'll buy me one. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I think that's going to be my number one, to be honest with you. I've, I've known about it for months, and it is sensational. I could, like, wear that every day and not get bored of it. Beautiful. Art. That's absolute art. Okay, Morocco. I like both of them. The home kit is, is bold. It's got really bold colours, the red and the, the blocks of green across the middle which is really nice. And then the away with that center piece in the middle, center piece in the middle, obviously. Um, I think if that's a stripe going down the middle, oh, that spoiled it for me. I would have just left that alone. But yeah, that's like top 10 for me. That's really nice. Cool away kits as well with the triangle design on it. Especially that maroon one for goalkeeper three. Hmm, Netherlands. What is that? It looks like it's suede. <laughs> it looks like a 70s outfit. In, in real life, I think it was not that bad. 
I don't think that picture really does it justice. In that picture, it's absolutely awful. Oh God, is it actually like that then? No, look at that picture there. It's more orange than gold, and it's not quite as shiny. It's still not great though, is it? I, I just really like their sort of, they've got more gold than orange, and I just like their classic orange. It's, their away kit's nicer, it's just blue. Hmm, interesting. Okay, in terms of Poland, actually I like both the home and the away kits. The home, has, it's got that same as Canada, but then they've got this like mottled design on the top, which is really nice. And then the away kit is just bold, red and white. Really like that away kit. That's probably top 10 for me. Yeah, it's just really simple but effective. Okay, Portugal. I thought all the way through the tournament I hated the home kit. It looks like I designed it. <laughs> it's just terrible. It's it's like it's not got enough going on. For me. It's it's too I don't know. Yeah, it's overly simplified. They should have blended the red and the green together, like in sort of it would have been better if it sort of um blended down then blended up then yeah, that, that's just too bold. It looks like it's just a mess. Um their away kit is quite nice though. Uh, with the white and then the little green and the big red band across the middle. Much nicer. Qatar. Actually, I quite like the Qatari one. It's got the triangles on the... to represent the flag on the sleeves. And then it's just mostly red. I probably would have had white somewhere. Um, but yeah, it's nice. And their away kit is just white. Oh no, it's got a nice little design in the background that I like. Um... Actually, I, I don't like it though. I would prefer to just play white like Canada did. Saudi Arabia. That is nice. I didn't notice those. I think when the players are sweating, it that sort of in background design, subtle design sort of fades away. But the, the leaves and everything, that's really, really nice. I mean, like, really, really nice. And the away kit's really good as well. Hmm. Is that going to be my top three? Maybe. Senegal. Oh, they've done it too. Maybe it's like an African thing. So, theirs is slightly nicer than, uh, who was it? Ghana. Because it's not just a box. It's sort of like, it's got a little bit some of something to it, hard, you know, sharp edges and stuff. That's nice. They've improved upon what Ghana tried. And that is just a lovely shirt, you know, with a triangle at the top there. That's really nice. And the white and then the flag colours um, on all the trims. Really nice. Yeah, it's just a um, really lovely design, isn't it? Okay, Serbia. Oh, Serbia have done it as well. Serbia's home kit. It's all right. It's got the darker red crosses everywhere, which is subtle. And they've done... Yeah, that's quite nice. Um, I think they maybe should have had a bit more gold on the trims of the, the top here and on the sleeves. But otherwise it's quite nice, to be honest. South Korea. Ooh, we'll come to the away kit in a second. Home kit. Really like the red, really like the shoulders. Um, yeah, that's a nice and tidy top. Nothing wrong with that at all. That away kit though. Ooh, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Um, I love that. It's extremely artsy. Very chic. Okay, I have a decision to make over that one. That is fantastic. I would love one. I would love to own one. Gorgeous. So, the Spanish kits, I don't like the away too much, actually. The blue... 
yeah, I don't, I don't get that really, I don't really like it. The home kit is, is a classic design, I have a version that looks like that from 2000. Um, so yeah, it's just a really nice shirt, nothing wrong with that at all, lovely. Not one of the best, but definitely not terrible. Uh, Switzerland. Yeah, I like that. I like the red, I like the different, you know, the, the line gets thinner as it goes down on the shoulders. That's really cool. And then they've also done that pattern in the middle. Um, this is kind of cooler though. I think that they've, they've done that really nicely. Um, yeah, I like that version because it's got the, it's got, it, the, the lines are complete and it does look like a barcode or something. It's a bit strange, but yeah, it's, it's nice. Tunisia. Um, that's nice. That's lovely. I do love that subtle design and then it doesn't carry on to the shoulders. I think it would have been okay if it did, but um, yeah, that's really cool. The sort of design, the face down the bottom, that's really lovely. And then away kit. Yeah, very similar. That's a really nice kit. That's probably like top 10 for me. USA, USA, USA. It's nice, isn't it? It's a really nice top, subtle, but the whole like little a section on there and on the arms. It's um, it's kind of got like Canada's subtleness, subtleness, but with a little bit of extra simple, not overly complicated design. I really like it. And the away kit. Yeah, it's quite nice. Um, you know, you could wear that for the gym and look quite cool, couldn't you? It's, it's, it's cool, it's nice. And then Uruguay. Um, I mean, their classic top, it's very simple. Nothing wrong with it at all, but it's a bit boring. Um, however, away kit. That is lovely. So, they've basically built on all of the others have this middle motif and it works so well. The white with the two different types of blue, light blues, and all of the design that is gorgeous. Hmm, this is getting harder. I also like the orange goalkeeper second kit. Oh, then Wales. Last but not least, I really like our home top. It's nice. It's got the different designs going down the back, but down the middle, excuse me, but in sort of zigzaggy lines. It's really cute. It's nice. I, I really like that. Uh, but I prefer the away kit. That sort of design on the collar, I just think is absolutely gorgeous. I possibly would have liked them to extend that down the arms or see what it looked like at the end of the sleeves as well. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a nice design. It's got those, I, you know, I, I seem to like the white colored kits, don't I? Um, yeah, it's nice. Okay. So my top three, sorry, Wales, I do love it and I probably will buy it when it goes on sale, but it's not in my top three. Oh my God. So, okay. So Uruguay's away kit is in there. Um. Korea's away kit is in there, and I think, was it Mexico's? Saudi Arabia nearly made the cut. Um, Morocco's is cool. Oh yeah, that Mexico kit is a, it's an absolute work of art. Okay, Mexico away first. South Korea away, where are you? Second. And late entry to the competition, Uruguay away, is number three. So Japan didn't make it, sorry. What do you think? Which ones would you put in your top three? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for watching. Click subscribe and you'll get lots of videos like this in the future. Okay, thank you so much everyone. I hope you're nice and chilled or well, maybe just entertained by the video. And uh, I'll see you again really soon. 2023 football is back and uh, lots of videos for results coming up soon. Take it easy.